On day five, I walked 27 miles. I left the Black Hills National Forest and passed through Fort Meade Recreational Area and summited the magnificent Bear Butte. Morning, friends. We got a few miles in today. It rained last night. Everything's kind of wet and cold this morning with some wind, but the sun's coming off. It's going to be a beautiful day. A few miles in, and I've gotten my first glance at Bear Butte. That, my friends, is the northern terminus and the end of my hike. However, it's still 20 miles away. Giddy up. Things have really started to open up. I'm right on the north edge of the Black Hills National Forest. And uh, I'm going to be entering Fort Meade Recreation Area. I can see down here for the first time. That is Interstate 90. And uh, that is the border um, I'm going to be walking in a tunnel underneath there uh, to enter Fort Meade Recreational Area. On my map it says right here is the start of the descent. So there is some uh, significant ups and downs on this trail. Now the highest point, Sumelius Peak, just past there uh, is I think 5,833 feet. And uh, at the lowest point, which is coming up here, I think it's uh, just a little over 3,000 feet. I made it to the Alkali Creek Trailhead. There's also a little campground here. I'm gonna use the uh, facilities there. Probably dump some garbage. And, yay, fresh water. There's a little bit of a climb coming out of Alkali there. Came to a nice overlook. That right there is Sturgis with Interstate 90 going right through it. Made it to Fort Meade National Cemetery. Just gonna observe the folks who died for our freedom. And also remember the people who are serving. I can hear down there on the base just a ton of guys yelling, Rah! they're doing something down there. Thank you for your service. And as we all know, Freedom isn't free. Leaving Fort Meade, crossing the highway here. Now, I was told there is a tunnel. I don't know where it is, so we made it. Can't figure out where the trail is. Oh, looks like it's this way. Taking a little break here in the shade. 
that sun and the wind kind of drying me out. A little brutal. So there's Bear Butte. Looks like it's right over that hill, right? Six miles away. Almost in the shadow of Bear Butte. Oh, heading up to the educational center here. And uh, that's kind of where I got dropped off. That's where my car is. Whew. Gonna have a snack, have some water before I summit the trail. Whew. Enough rest, time. steps to the very top up there. Tried to get more video as I was hiking up here, but the wind kept on blowing my tripod over. That and trying not to lose my hat. Man, there's a lot of things that are going through my head right now. Here it is. Here we go. When I do these type of things, I think about, you know, this is the longest hike I've ever done and I've done this one before, but I'm not gonna apologize for getting emotional because I think of all the adversity that I took to get here. I mean, snakes, attacking birds, rain, Heat, sun, sore muscles, blisters. I made it. Oh. Oh. All those times that I wanted to quit. I didn't. I made it. So, they say the Centennial Trail is a little over 25, 125 miles. I hiked a little under 24 miles. Now I gotta hike back down. But that's kind of anti climactic And the video here, I hope you can hear me in the wind. Thanks for coming along on this journey. You know, uh, sometimes my lens was dirty, but then this part of Mike, this is real stuff here.
Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe, push that bell notification, check me out on Instagram and Facebook.